The new Mars Hydro TSW-2000 is sleek and bright, and it's got some serious upgrades. But is it worth trading up if you already got the old version? We're about to find out. Lock in. The TSW-2000. It's been part of my setup for years now, and I've gotten some crazy good results with it. And if you've used the TS or TSW series, ha, you know these are the real deal. Now here's the new kid on the block, but just because it's shiny and new doesn't make it better, does it? Let's look at key differences to see if it's worth the upgrade. First up, size. The new light is about an inch and a half longer than the OG for a slightly better light spread. The original got that classic aluminum finish which I love. It's simple and it works. The new light has a modern design with a glossy white coat. It's sleeker and cleaner. The original has evenly spaced diodes which still does a great job of keeping an even canopy. The new light has tighter diodes around the edges to eliminate hot spots in the middle. The old light was manufactured by Shenzhen Technology. The new light is made by LG LED Solutions. The old light required two separate mean well bricks which worked fine, but the new light has a single, more efficient driver from LG LED Solutions. Now this is my favorite part. I didn't love the old dimmer boxes. The old knob and switch had to go. The new dimmer box has a push button on off function, plus the knob turns the light off when you twist down below zero and back on when you twist it above zero again. It's so much more satisfying. <laughs> now for the real world testing. I'm using a PAR meter to test both lights at different power settings starting at 0%, working up to 100%. Starting from the top, I took readings every foot across a grid to get an average intensity. I set both lights brightness to 0%, powered on the PAR meter, and took my readings. I documented my results in a spreadsheet, and here are the results of that test. At 0% power, the old light scored higher. The highest reading was 173, while the new light's highest was 126 at one foot away. At 25%, the old light still comes out ahead. The highest reading was 405, while the new light's highest was 203 at one foot away. At 50% power, the old light again shows higher readings. The highest reading was 721, while the new light's highest maxed out at 425 at one foot away. At this point, I started to see a pattern. And at 75%, the old light still leads. The highest reading was 1129, with the new light's highest coming in at 707 at one foot away. I tested one more time at 100% just to be sure. And sure enough, at 100% power, the old light hit a mass of 1300, while the new light's highest maxed out at 818. I ran these tests twice to be sure. The old TSW2000 continues to outperform the new model in terms of raw intensity. So should you upgrade? If you like new things, then yes. But if you're getting good performance out of the old light, then you might as well keep it. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoy the content and subscribe for more honest reviews just like this.